Hey kids, would you like to hear a story? It's about John Evil Rabbit. It's called John Evil Rabbit, who went to work at the coal mines and became the greatest rabbit ever. You see, there was this rabbit called Johnny, who lived with his grandfather. And this kid was just always loud, annoying, obnoxious, awful, a real, a real piece of work who wouldn't just sit quietly and shut up, who would rather spend his time outside with friends getting his clothes all dirty, who would always complain about having oatmeal for the third time in a row, which was really inconsiderate considering that's basically all kids need, who really could just put more sugar in his bowl instead of complaining and be quiet. Anyway, it was one night after Johnny had been punished for putting too much sugar in his bowl, but his grandfather came up with a very profound and clever idea. You see, Johnny, we've been living on the cash your father left behind, and your father was a great man. He was the greatest worker down in the coal mines. He spent his entire life down in those mines. You barely saw him, but he would have, if those damn unionizers hadn't caused the mine to collapse. I have been legally advised to say this is not a proven fact, but they're the ones complaining, so I'm just saying it would make a lot of sense. But you know, part of me is glad that he's dead. His knees would hurt, his arms would shake, his back would send shivers of pain to every nerve ending in his body. It's genetic, don't worry about it. And then one night, he thankfully died. And that money he left behind went on to support us for a whole ten days. And the gentle grandfather gently proposed a very clever and smart idea, quite cleverly. Say, Johnny, why don't you take on the ropes and work in those coal mines like your father did? And the audacity of this gosh darn rabbit. He said the worst thing that you could possibly say. He said, No. So his grandfather told him, well, all right, it's either that or all of your friends will laugh at you, and then the whole village will laugh at you, and then you will die alone. Would you like that, Johnny? Would you like to die alone? And gosh golly, that Johnny the Rabbit was already off to the coal mines. But because he had such a crummy attitude, all he would do is complain. Even though he was given a mandated coffee break so he could shut up and work, and coffee for lunch, and another coffee break so he could work overtime, he would still do such lazy work that he would barely make a dollar. So he quit, and guess what? Everyone laughed at him, and then the whole village laughed at him, and as he was about to die all alone, his old grandpa came by and threw him down the coal mines, and gosh golly, that Johnny the Rabbit worked harder than anyone else before him. And everyone loved him, and all the kids thought he was so cool that they went down to work in the coal mines with him, and everything was perfect forever. Moral of the story, kids need to shut up. The End